Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Today would be Thursday, um, and I reported to you yesterday that we had a pig that had her babies right here in the breeding pen. So I must have did a little underestimating here of how far along she was, but let me get right in here. And uh, it was almost a tragic situation, but kind of got it fixed. We put this, this is a bale ring. Normally this is what you put a, a round bale in for cattle to eat out of, but it made a good, good barrier. You know, I put her in there. She wound up with four nice ones, and I think that, you know, she was a first time sow, and probably she only had five. Big Lars and Big Larry. Come here, boy. Yeah, he's not too happy about me being in here. The video I made last night, it was like I said. I don't think he really wants to hurt him. Well, that was a dumb statement. I mean, he, he almost ate one, and he did kill it. I don't know what it is. It's some instinctive thing. A lot of other producers have told me the same thing. There doesn't really seem to be uh, any way to know it's gonna happen. Um, lots of times there'll be you know, the boar is in with a hundred of them and he never touches one of them. They crawl all over him. Um, but then every now and then, I've had people here to look at pigs and they got to see it firsthand. So, um, this is a good situation. Let me focus in on there so you can see that. These guys are just a day old. So the eyes are open. You know, they're up and around. They come out of her and they move right around and get right up against her belly. So it was 30 last night, but they were right up close here against her belly, which is just nice and warm. And then they get that first uh, milk, which has colostrum in it. And that has a lot of nat natural antibodies in it. But once they get that shot, they're pretty unstoppable. Now she's a brindle, and a brindle is what we get when we mix a swallow belly and a blonde. And out of a brindle, you can get swallow bellies like this or a blonde like that. But these are nice size pigs. Um, we say that we like to breed them at their first opportunity and they help, will have a smaller litter, but the litter will be a lot more manageable for them. Like her being a first time mother and she was in here by herself, she really doesn't have anybody to tell her how to do things. It's all instinct. But if she's got 10 little pigs running around her, it can be stressful on them. And we find that when they have three or four, it's not a big deal. Um, she, it looks like she had five, and, and she kept four. And for a first-timer, I'm fine with that. Um, next time we'll have seven, eight, nine, and so I'm fine with that. And they're nice, healthy pigs, too. Uh, it seems like if you're going to keep breeding stock out of your, out of your own group, I've had good luck with pigs that I've taken first batch off of a sow. Very good luck because uh, now these babies are gonna have everything that they need food wise. So there's not a lot of competition with, you know, four brothers and sisters. I mean, there's only four of them, so there's not eight of them. So they're never gonna be hurting for nutrition at all. And uh, so they're going to be nice, really nice pigs. I'm looking at them now, and they're just beauties. The one that was eaten was even better. So 
he must have been wanting a big pork chop. All right, well, this is a bright spot in the day. This is the first stop that I made. It's uh, not exactly early, but uh, I'm getting out a little late. I had some things to do today in the house. I was just enjoying the time in with my kids and uh, the warm house. It's not real cold out. It's, I don't know, 38 probably, but it's wet. <clears throat> So our job today is we are butchering turkeys for Thanksgiving. So I don't know if this video will be up in time, but uh, I have about 70, 60 to 70 turkeys that we have to butcher in, in a couple loads. These ones are going to be uh, the ones that are sent out on Monday and sent up to Traverse City tomorrow so we're gonna do about 25 of them today uh, on another note this is little girl that was paralyzed and she still got some problems and unfortunately with her I put her in with the girls that she came out of and they jumped on her and they beat her up good and I got her out of here just in time to keep her from getting too badly hurt but a bunch of them jumped on her hard so we're in the process of trying to make a decision what to do with her she's probably bred but she may become a, a liability in the future so sometimes what we'll do is she's a first timer is we can send her to slaughter now I hate to do that because she's got babies in her but a lot of times it can lead to more trouble down the road. What are you doing today? Me? Yeah, you. I'm gonna go get milk. Okay. <laughs> Stage fright. All right, this is Mark from Baker's Green Acres. We'll uh, take you through the turkey process too. Kind of interesting. Anyone can farm.